Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. I'm your host, Industry 01. <clears throat> And we are back with more Man of Meden. This is a blind playthrough, remember? So all these things that you're going to see, I'm not going to know what to do. So I might make some horrible choices, and that's the fun part about it. But with that being said, thanks to Microsoft for allowing me to show this off to you guys and for providing the code. So let's continue. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Nah, man, you you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> so yourself, you ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're going to pop your cherry together. We're going to be gentle. Uh... <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Obviously, we're building up characters, learning from them. It's kind of weird when you select things, though. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. 
I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope! Oh, my God. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh... Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. All right, so clearly, you know, things can go differently depending on, you know, the different things we choose to look at to figure out. The choices we make, they're all going to change. And open. I'm just waiting for something to come out and scare me. Hey, hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. So clearly this is not the ship that we saw in the beginning. There's the gap. All right. Cool. 
This doesn't look kosher. Hmm. Yo, little bro. Howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has a rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got, okay? Dope. Since when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like tight. Fresh. <laughs> well, see you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. All right, so let's see. All right, sweet. We got some better relationships with our bud. Uh, we need to get better with Conrad, and we need to get better with Fliss. That's going to be one of our goals, obviously. Huh. What am I looking at here? Premonition unlocked. Ooh, found during wreckage. Let's view it one more time. Some, something about a hiding or... Huh. We'll figure that all out, I guess. I don't... Is it going to let me in? I guess not. There's a room to the right, but I guess it wouldn't let me in. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Dude, this only smell as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. All right, so she, oh, we can't pick it up. Yeah, it looks like we can't enter that room right there. Okay. So let's look this side here. We already checked that out. Make sure there's nothing. All right. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Yeah, but I turned it off. Uh, I can't turn it back on. That looks like we can't talk to her, so. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. He You're said, make sure we take, take the camera. The Let's get a before photo. Alright, 
kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Alex took the bang stick off the dive. Oh, I don't know what that exactly is, but that's cool. Proposal. Follow his gut. Ooh, that may have set something up as well. Speedboat. Alex took... Huh. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. All right, so let's see. So, so far with her, Julia is the least. Conrad's up there, Brad and Alex, they're all around the same. I want everyone to like each other. That's going to be my main goal. So. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. know about this wreck just rumors and theories I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there what got you into World War two just stuff I read about in school then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy got lots of medals I wanted to understand what he'd been through got me hooked You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check mm. you later. Still don't think we can actually go in those rooms on the side there. Oh, we can actually enter this one now, though. Why do 
do I keep these around? Huh. Did you guys... Okay, first of all, take a look at this. A guy's shooting him. Obviously, from the look of it, it's the Sean Ashmore character. Um, and he's escaping. So we got to make mental notes of these things. These premonitions, these are certain outcomes that can happen. Okay, yeah, there's no reason probably to go, and it's just going to be the same as what we saw earlier. Nah, it's still not going to let us... Will it let us go in there? Yeah, see, it, it just will not let us go in there. Okay. Okay, I don't know why she's hiding it. Weather looks clear. I'm just sitting here waiting for something to happen because normally it does. But I don't see anything. Wait, can we talk to him? Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. I successfully flirted with her. Sweet. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. that about that is not the Coast Guard so we're not under arrest how should we handle this this feels off just be quiet and don't say anything stupid okay Keep back, we've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Yeah, 
that's not a move I would have done in that situation. Uh, is this character going to be a, an acehole? I don't know. We're going to find out. I wonder if he's like the Hayden Penitary character where she kind of redeemed herself big time in the end. said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Might need a tetanus shot after that. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Okay, she's panicking. So we can see that Alex is really good. Conrad. Fliss is still not pretty good with her, though. Secrets, bearings, speedboat proposal. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. <laughs> what? Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Now, normally I probably wouldn't sure? risk this. But there could be like some type of secret in here. Oh, we got a relationship status update. Although I can't tell if it went up or down. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base so we got the flight plan they were on their way to help out a ship Awesome. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's going to flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? 
Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Can just barely make out the picture. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Okay, bearing update. Hold on, hold on. To open the door to the cockpit. Uh-oh. Maybe we could have needed that for later? That could have changed all kinds of things. You never know. How is he still moving around like that? Oh my god! Oh, oh. I think I <sighs> went my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. No. You've got to be joking. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Now, this stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I want to do that. Something tells me if I do that, then I can screw something up. Holy shit! We gotta get out of here now! Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? 
What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. So I'm trying to think, was there a purpose of going into the cockpit? Maybe because we could have used that weapon later, you know? I don't know. Makes you think. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 